All right, so if you happen to own a 1999 Ford F-150 pickup truck, um, and if your shifter is just flopped off like a limp, you know what, to one side and it can't shift gears, um, this is how you fix it. Uh, there's some simple fixes on the web, and if those didn't, didn't work for you, this is this is the complicated fix. You see that tube that's back there? Well, that thing is what actuates underneath. You'll find if you if you fiddle around down there, you'll find that there's a cable that goes to the shifter. And what what actuates all of that is going to be this tube here. Hey Joe, help me find the other part of this tube. Oh, here it goes. This is the old broken one. All right. Hold this, Joe. Hold it like that. And you know, there's some internal stuff that has to do with the locking. It don't really matter what any of that does. What you need to know is it went together like this, and where they break is right there. And you'll see it when you're underneath. You'll be able to move this when you move the shifter. And you'll see this thing back there that when you grab it from underneath, you can yank this thing around and you can make it go through the gears. But you can't make it do it with the shifter. Um, that's going to be what your problem is. And the way you fix it, you can get one of these parts. Chris, how did you get that part? Uh, it's it's a Dorman 102. It should be on the box, but it's it's widely available. We got it from Advanced Auto Parts. Okay, so it's something you can find. Yeah, on just the internet. search shift tube for Ford F-150, and it pops up. All right, and and what you do is. It looks like it's easy in this position, but that's only because the hard part is already done. Notice the position of the steering wheel, and this this is not a tilt wheel. So in order to tilt it <laughs> under here, you're going to find all the bolts that you need. We had to take apart, as you can see, this whole thing. So this this is an undertaking. You're going to be at this all day. So just just hunker down for a day project with this to take all this bottom stuff apart and then get up underneath here if you haven't done it before it's going to take you all day sure, can you give me the one four and you find the bolts that hold one, the steering wheel up Same because size, normally it's one. way up in a, a higher position here nice. you can see those long screw holes that hold it up normally you take apart all of that and just drop it down and that gives you the access you need in order to be able to to get to the broken part that you need to replace uh, the good news is that part's 40 bucks, Chris, was it? 40 bucks? That, that's the good news is. The bad news is this is a, a lot of labor. And that when you go to transfer it from the old one, there's a lot of these little pins that go through these type of holes and they can be kind of tight. And it, it does matter which direction you pound them out because they won't go out both ways. So you got to basically try it one way and if it won't go, then, then switch directions, go the other direction. And... You know, there you go. It's very fixable, though. Any any final thoughts there? That's it, Chris. All right.